So yesterday we talked about um, the lymphatic system and now we're going to talk about the immune system and how um, the mechanisms of that kind of work. Um, so immunity in general is the body's ability to defend itself against a pathogen. So anything that causes disease, so that can be a bacteria, virus, fungus, protozoa, toxin, cancerous tumors, any of those things. Um, so immunity is broken down into two different different forms. So we have natural immunity and we have acquired immunity. So with natural or innate immunity, uh, so this is something that's, um, it is not specific um, and it does not require you to be previously exposed to something. So this is Anything that's foreign that tries to enter the body, your body's going to kill it. Uh, if it's not supposed to be there, get rid of it. I don't care what it is. If it's bad, if it's trying to cause disease, if it's just hanging out, whatever, your body's going to say, doesn't belong to us. Let's take it out. Okay, so an example of that is going to be the macrophages. These are your white blood cells. Um, so again, Anything that's coming in that doesn't say I'm a part of the body, then the macrophage is going to take it out. So again, it's not specific. It's taking down um, anybody and everybody that doesn't belong there. So if you want to think about natural immunity as like a uh, as like the police, so anybody that's doing anything bad, they're going to take them out. You know, you don't have to. I run into this particular suspect before just you're not doing what you're supposed to you're not where you're supposed to be so we're going to uh, take you down okay so that's the natural immunity so then we have acquired immunity so this is the body's uh, response to a specific pathogen uh, and it can be established either passively or, or actively and we're going to look at that in just a second so difference between natural and acquired so natural was the cop so acquired immunity think about um maybe a private investigator or um like a swat team they're looking for a specific individual that they're trying to take out so they don't care about any of the other bad guys they're looking for one particular bad guy um, so natural was Taking out every bad guy acquired is looking for somebody uh, specific. So passive versus active. Um, so passive, passive meaning that um, uh, you didn't really have to do much in order to get this kind of immunity. So this is when you are going to re receive a uh, substance produced elsewhere, so by another human or an animal. So an example of this would be um, maternal antibodies that cross the placenta to a baby. So the baby didn't produce the antibodies, the mother did, but the mother passed them on. And so now the baby has immunity to um, certain diseases, but like we said before, baby didn't produce any of that. That was, that was the mom doing it, okay? So again, they passively acquired this kind of immunity. Now you can actively acquire immunity. So that's going to follow uh, direct exposure to a uh, pathogenic agent. So something that's going to stimulate the immune response in general. Um, so you can actually come down with the disease. So if you get the flu, then you developed um, that disease and so your body had to uh had to make antibodies on its own in order to fight the infection so that was it was actively doing something so that it could uh, it could acquire immunity for future um uh, so if it was ever exposed to that particular strain of flu again you would not get sick Another way that you can actively acquire immunity is through immunizations and vaccines. We're going to look at that next and how that works.
So the purpose of getting an immunization or vaccine, this is why you have to get them, you know, when you go to the doctor or whatever, is so that uh, you can uh, you can your your uh, immune system can be on alert to different pathogens. Um, kind of get the idea of what the pathogen could or could not do um, without the body being full blown sick. Okay, so think about um, the flu. Okay, so people are talking about flu, getting your flu shot and things like this. So you get a weakened version of a particular strand of flu, and that is what is in your vaccine or immunization. And it is injected into your body, but because it's a weakened version of it, your body's not going to get sick from you getting that particular vaccine. But it will cause your immune system to uh, start producing antibodies against it. So when it does come against, come up against the real flu, it can fight it a lot faster. So, uh. Again, going with the bad guy. Um, so this would be like having wanted posters posted uh, throughout the city so that they can be out on alert as far as looking out for the bad guy um, prior to the bad guy actually getting out and about. Okay. Hopefully that, that makes sense. So this is where... The immune system already has a heads up as to um, how to fight against this particular pathogen. Okay, so different vaccines that are especially required for y'all to be able to come to school. You have the hepatitis B vaccine. You have the varicella or the chickenpox. You have the MCV4, which is for meningitis, MMR, which is mumps, measles, and rubella and Tdap, which is tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis, and you have polio. These are different vaccines that, uh, these are required by the state for you to actually be enrolled in school. There's other vaccines out there, HPV, things that are not required, but do the same thing. So again, you are going to be given a modified or weak version of the, of the uh, pathogen so that when your body comes in contact with it, it can fight it much uh, more efficiently and faster. Okay, so looking at the immune response in general, um, so this is how your immune system uh, is going to fight a bacteria. So disease-causing agents are recognized as being foreign because they display proteins that are different from the person's own natural proteins. Okay, so these are called antigens. So remember back when we were talking about blood types, um, we said that there were different little flags on the outside of the cell that said, I am type A or I am type B. Okay. Uh, so this is going to be the same type of thing. So looking at this awesome illustration up here that I did myself, you can tell by how terrible it looks. So these little stick things um, are the little flags that are going to say, uh, this is me. So say all of the cells in my body have these little red sticks on the outside of it. That's going to let my body know that um, that, um, that everybody that has red sticks on it is my, um, those are my cells. Anybody that does not have red sticks or uh, has maybe green sticks or blue sticks is going to tell my body that that is not me and we need to get whatever that is out. So looking at the a little drawing next to it so we have this thing that has a green circle around it well that's not a red stick so my body is going to say I don't know what this is but we need to get rid of it okay but these little red sticks would be the antigens okay 
Um, so your immune can respond in uh, 